At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. The Avalanche of Cash is at the Pahrump Nugget every Monday and Tuesday in January from 2 to 4 p.m. One lucky winner will be chosen every 30 minutes. The $53,000 Cruising Cash Giveaway is here Friday 6 to 9 p.m. Win $200 every half hour. Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Get another chance to win $200 every half hour. One lucky cruise winner will be chosen at 9 p.m. Football Super Sunday. Join us February 3rd at the Nugget Event Center. Doors open 90 minutes before the game with stadium buffet and drink specials. Limited seating available. Buy your tickets now through February 2nd. Tickets are $25 per person. Come get your game on at the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is also brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 775-751-0349. News is also brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada. Providing quality cancer care in a spa-like setting. We are Pahrump's only chemotherapy center. Call 1-800-881-4226. News is also brought to you by the St. Therese Mission, a future venue for cultural and environmental events near Pahrump. Get involved. Visit us at stTherezemission.com or call 702-507-4172. Tonight on News 46, a second arrest is conducted in connection to a murder. A leader in the, in the community is surprised by an award. Hand sanitizers are donated to the Senior Center. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Glenn Evers and Monique Mitchell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, January 28, 2013. I'm Glenn Evers. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Nine County Sheriff's deputies have arrested a second person of interest in regards to a murder that occurred last week off of Higley Road and Basin Avenue. In trouble with the law? Call Abercadabra Bail Box and they'll have you out in a... An additional suspect was arrested on Friday by the Nye County Sheriff's Office in connection with the death of a man which occurred on Wednesday, January 23rd. Sylvia Castillo, age 35 of Pahrump, was apprehended and questioned by detectives after her co-conspirator Peter Halfrick was arrested on the previous day for taking the life of a Pahrump man. Castillo admitted that she became aware that Halford had killed the man and subsequently assisted him in driving the deceased body several miles east into Wheeler Canyon. Both Halfrick and Castillo then disposed of the man's remains. Castillo was subsequently booked at the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center on the following charges, accessory to murder, destroy or conceal evidence of a crime. She is currently being held on the bail amount of $100,000. The decedent's name is being withheld pending notification of family members. Detectives are following up on several leads and the investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information pertaining to this case is urged to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 751-7000. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Well, there was no fire alarm, there were no sprinklers or fire escapes, and when a band member tried to put out the fire that had been started by pyrotechnics, the extinguisher didn't work. All the elements were in place for the tragedy at the KISS nightclub early Sunday in Brazil. The result was the world's worst fire of its kind in more than a decade. A total of 231 people are dead as a result of the neglect Negligence, police arrested four people today in connection with the nightclub fire. Two are club, are club owners and the other two are members of the band that was performing. Today, the college town in Brazil began funerals for the mass amount of people that died. Because of the large amount of clubs just over the hill in Las Vegas, Clark County Fire Department issued a statement. The terrible tragedy in Santa Maria, Brazil on Sunday serves to remind us all of how precious and vulnerable life is. The Clark County Fire Department's mission is to provide, is to provide for the health 
and safety of our Southern Nevada communities and visitors through professional emergency response fire prevention, and public education. Here in Southern Nevada, we have some of the toughest building code and fire code requirements in the world. We strive every day to make certain our buildings are being maintained and the ongoing uses of the occupancy remain compliant with the fire code. A court date was canceled for a Nevada state law lawmaker hospitalized for a medical and mental evaluation after being accused of threatening a state Democratic Assembly leader. Assemblyman Stephen Brooks' lawyer says he's not sure when Brooks might be released from medical care. Brooks was hospitalized Friday for a 72-hour evaluation. Prosecutors have asked for 30 days or more to decide whether to file a criminal charge. Brooks was arrested January 19th in a car with a gun after he was accused of threatening the life of incoming Assembly Speaker Marilyn Kirkpatrick. He spent a night in jail before being released on $100,000 bail. Brooks and his lawyer deny any threat was made. All right, folks. Well, coming up after this break, we're going to have the Act of Kindness by B.J. Hetrick Irwin. So keep it here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a rumps optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. The founder of the Miss Senior Golden Years pageant and the Nevada Silver Tappers received an Act of Kindness Award yesterday. I'm here today to uh, present the Act of Kindness Award to BJ here, the founder of, uh, I guess, the Silver Tappers or? And Miss Senior Golden Years. Oh, okay. and Miss Golden Years. Miss Maybe. Senior Golden Years. Oh, well, I'm Mr. Senior Golden yeah. Years. So anyway, uh, do you understand what I got? BJ is the founder. And you girls have raised approximately $1 million since your existence for charity. And I think that's an accomplishment in itself. Well, that, that's an accomplishment in itself. I just want to say thank you for what you have done for the citizens of Pahrump and Knight County. So at this time, I would like to present the Act of Kindness Award to BJ. And if you wouldn't mind reading it. Act of Kindness Award presented to B.J. Hedrick Irwin, Miss Senior Golden Years and Nevada Silver Tappers for their tireless service and endless dedication, helping others throughout the town of Prompana County from the citizens of Prump, no act of kindness is ever wasted. You had an Act of Kindness Award. Tell me about that. Oh, complete, complete surprise, I'll tell you right now. When he came in, and because we're having our Victorian tea here today, and when he came in, uh, it just oh, mind-boggling. But this would not be possible if it wasn't for the community who believes in what I do and has supported me for all these 20-some years. And uh, it's a very emotional time. Thank you so the bottom of my heart. Well deserved. You have done this work for so long without uh, even expecting recognition, but it just seemed obvious. Well, you know, I never can repay the community. Never can I. And it's just a little bit of way of me giving back to the community who has opened up every door for me since I moved here. I mean, I could I could stay on this thing for a couple hours telling you what the Pahrump has done for me. Oh, B.J. Hetrick Irwin's assistant, very dear friend, and Miss Senior Golden Years past queen, Mitzi Sears, gives a little history of the Act of Kindness recipient. But in 1992, B.J. was Miss Senior Nye County. And then she became Miss Senior Nevada. And then she went on to be in the Miss Senior America pageant. And although she didn't bring home the title, she did win the talent competition, which was very, very good. After that, 
She managed the Miss Senior Nevada pageant for many years. But in her heart, she had a dream. Many of us have dreams. And sometimes they come true and sometimes they don't. But BJ's was that she wanted to have a pageant in Pahrump for just the ladies of Pahrump. It's not one where you have to go to Las Vegas or New York or wherever. It's just being right here and doing what you want to do for your community. But you need to have your heart in it. That, that's the inner beauty. The 13th annual Sandy Valley Volunteer Fire Department Balloon Fest, Pancake Breakfast, and Safety Fair will be held from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday, February 2nd at the Keystone Center in Sandy Valley. The public is invited to this event, which is a yearly fundraiser for the fire department. The event features balloon rides, which cost $50 per person. The balloon rides begin at 7 a.m. on Saturday. The pancake breakfast will cost $5 per person, $3 for children under 10. There will also be a raffle, a blood drive, and safety demonstrations from law enforcement, Mercy Air, Valley Electric, and the American Medical Response and MediQuick, Medi Medic West Ambulance Companies. For more information, call 702-203-1150. The Boy Scouts of America is considering changing its long-lasting policy against allowing openly gay members, according to a news release from the organization. The organization, which has 2.7 million members, is potentially discussing excuse me, discussing doing away with its national policy after months of protesting, including hundreds of angry Eagle Scouts renouncing their hard-earned awards and mailing back their red, white, and blue medals. Many parents of the Scouts across, across America found the national policy excluding gays confusing and at odds with basic scouting ideals. The flu has hit many areas hard this year. Locally, all is well with our senior population. Healthcare partners wanted to make sure that they stay healthy. Friday, they passed out, passed out hand sanitizer during lunch at the Pahrump Senior Center. They are trying to help prevent the flu during this terrible flu season that we've had. So they brought down some individual hand sanitizers and we gave them to all the seniors this morning. Again, healthcare partners stepped up to the plate once again for us. How has the flu affected uh, the Senior Center? Actually, we've been very fortunate. We haven't had a whole lot of folks being too ill. We've, I guess the, most of them had got their flu shots because we did have our clinic here as well. But uh, overall, we haven't been too affected from it. Today, we served 130-something people, so I guess it's not affecting us too, too badly, and I'm glad for that, that our seniors are in good health. The hand sanitizers, are, is it seeming to help? I know that you guys also put some around here at your location too. Oh yeah, we keep them available at all times for the seniors all, all over the, the center here. We've got them um, by the bathrooms and by the front door and we also have any wipes up at the, ta at the counter. So just to help prevent any kind of sickness for any of our seniors, we don't want them getting sick. It's always a little harder on the seniors as we get older. Our sicknesses take a toll on us a little bit more. You guys have speakers and uh, kind of give information out to the seniors here on how to stay healthy. Has that been something that you guys have kind of focused on talking about the flu and what they could do? Absolutely. We try to get as many health seminars as we can, and whether it be about the flu or diabetes, Alzheimer's, we try to just get as much as going on, as much education to the seniors as possible. One of the things I noticed here today was, of course, uh, you speaking to the crowd, getting them all riled up, talking about people who are new here, some people who are having birthdays. That's really something that they really enjoy, huh? Absolutely. It's a fun thing to do, and it, it welcomes the new people. You know, when we want them to know that we're here for them, that they're welcome to come into the center any day of the week for lunch and to enjoy all the rest of the folks. It's very much a social environment here, and that's what we want to keep it at. We want them to all have a good time as well as get their nutrition from us as well. A packed room today, but that's not even just counting the homebound that's uh, going out today. No, we had uh, during the week we send out uh, 130 homebound seniors as well, so that's about 700, almost 800 meals there, plus about an average of about 100 to 120. Today was exceptional, 136 I think we said was on the list. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.